Sure. Judy thought it would be fun to make a city with blocks. You may help me, Bob. I shall make a school. You can make a post office. And each of us can make a store. I want to make a grocery store. I shall make a bakery. Bob's condition was diagnosed as mixed sociopathological with neurotic tendencies. Bob's father had died two years previously in an automobile accident. This was an exceedingly traumatic event for the boy, having learned of his father's death on television. And spoon size. I suppose I just want Bob to have some of those nice things I never had. Well, my mother never had the time for us. She had to work. Bob. Well, his father spoiled him. But really, it's been two years since the accident. I don't know. They don't give him any homework. I didn't want him to have that bicycle. His father gave him the money for it. Bob's behavioral problems, both antisocial and those concerning his family, led to his underachievement in school. One teacher indicated some concern for Bob's relationship to the other students. He had no friends. Teeth add or detract from one's personal appearance. White teeth are a valuable asset. They are great help in making friends and securing desirable positions. Bob went to the grocery store to buy a bicycle. I do not have a bicycle to sell, Bob. I, I shall have to send for one. Look at the pictures in this book. Find a bicycle you like. I shall send for it today. Bob's resentment seemed especially directed towards his mother for failing to satisfy his demands for attention and indirectly towards his sister seeing her as a rival. Now follow these instructions carefully to prepare your guitar for the electric guitar the easy way method. After you've taken the guitar out of the guitar case, You'll want to know how to hold your guitar. Judy was diagnosed hyperactive. Her case was moderately severe, with some schizophrenic features. Judy was playing with a toy fish. Judy, we are going for a ride in the automobile. Put your toy fish away. Judy's level of tolerance was extremely low. Her marked clumsiness resulted in her habitually breaking things. Every young girl has a point at which she can no longer resist applied forces without a fracture occurring. In later life, this made Judy a conspicuously poor athlete. No, I wouldn't say she was cruel. Judy, that girl can't sit still for a minute. I buy her all kinds of nice books and... 
We must be going. Judy, it's time to go. And put that fish away. Judy was given a series of psychological tests. The most striking findings were in the style and manner in which she attempted to solve problems. Judy would jump to an incorrect answer without delay. She would never admit to having made a mistake. Prior to the testing, Judy had been discovered repeatedly stealing small sums of money from her mother's pocketbook. She had used the money to make small purchases, not in any particularly meaningful way. She did not use the money to buy friends. Having acquired a useful vocabulary, a child now needs explanations of things and events. The answers you give should be simple and straightforward, thus providing the information needed at that moment, and also the means by which he can work things out for himself, by drawing simple conclusions from observed facts. Although the conclusions he arrives at are often charmingly naive because his experience is so limited, they do nevertheless presage the dawn of reason and reveal his developing intelligence. Bob and Judy went to the city. They went on a train with their mother. This was the first time they had ever been on a train. I would like to ride on this train every day. It goes much faster than our school bus. 